The three standard portal positions are anterior, anterior lateral, and posterior lateral. The lateral two portals are positioned over the superior margin of the greater trochanter at its anterior and posterior borders. The anterior portal is sited at the intersection of a sagittal line drawn distally from the anterior superior iliac spine and a transverse line drawn across the superior tip of the greater trochanter. It is directed approximately 45 degrees cephalad and 30 degrees towards the midline. At the level of the anterior portal, the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve is typically divided into three or more branches. One of these branches will always lie close to the portal and is especially vulnerable to laceration if the skin incision is carried too deeply. The cannula penetrates the sartorius and rectus femoris before entering the anterior capsule. The direction of the portal runs roughly tangential to the axis of the femoral nerve, lying only slightly closer at the level of the capsule with a reported average minimum distance of 3.2 centimeters. The anterior lateral portal lies most centrally in the safe zone for arthroscopy. It penetrates the gluteus medius before entering the lateral aspect of the capsule at its anterior margin. The superior gluteal nerve on the deep surface of the gluteus medius courses transversely above the lateral two portals approximately 4.4 centimeters. The posterior lateral portal passes above the posterior border of the greater trochanter. The portal penetrates the gluteus medius and minimus entering the lateral capsule at its posterior margin, superior and anterior to the piriformis tendon. It is closest to the sciatic nerve at the capsule with an average distance of 2.9 centimeters. Neutral rotation during portal placement is important. If the hip is externally rotated, the greater trochanter moves posteriorly and could cause the posterior lateral portal to pass closer to the sciatic nerve during placement. 